Here's another foundation guide to amateur radio, this time on when to break into a contact. It takes a fair bit of listening and practice to get it right, but hopefully the tips in this video will be helpful. The first question you should ask before you break into a contact is your motivation for doing so. Why do you want to do it? Is it to contribute something to the contact already in progress? Or simply to ask for a signal report? Depending on what it is, that will shape how you break in, or even whether you do so at all. Let's say that there is a contact where people were discussing something, they didn't know what it was, and you happen to have the answer. In that case, you'd be most welcome to break in. Between when they pass it over to one another, simply insert your call sign once. Hopefully, they will have left enough of a gap for them to have heard you break in. They should at least acknowledge you, and then, after not too many minutes, call you in. Then, you can introduce yourself and tell them why you broke in, giving the answer to their question. Another reason you might break in, and hopefully it's something you never need to use, is if it's an emergency. One approach that people use to signify that an urgent acknowledgement and contact is required is to say break or break break. But you should never just say break unless it is actually an emergency. The main exceptions are, is when you're already in a contact and it might be a round robin contact with people taking it in turns, then you might be called away or have something to contribute, which is a very short answer. In that case, if you're already known and in the contact, then you might just say break and then they'll put it over to you immediately. Another reason for people to break in is simply to get a signal report, either on their signal strength how their antenna is going, their audio quality, or whatever. That style of breaking in must be done with a lot more discretion. If you come across a contact where there's a couple of guys with quite long overs speaking in detail about a particular specialised topic, then maybe you don't want to break into them. The more people in a conversation, above about three or four, the lower the quality of the conversation. A lot of the content is just people passing it back to and forwards between one another and not much may actually be discussed. Certainly as a shortwave listener, the type of contacts that I valued were those where people were having in-depth contacts. Too many people breaking in tends to disrupt the flow of the contact. So what are your alternatives to breaking into a contact if you still want to get a QSO? The first thing is to scan the band. First of all, listen for stations calling CQ. By definition, they are seeking contacts and you should oblige and answer them. Another approach, again by tuning around, is to see if there are any contacts about to finish. This is a bit of an art, but if you are able to call at the right time, just after they sign, then you'll most likely get called and raise a contact. That's called tail ending, and I highly recommend it. There's a bit of an art in this timing, because some people take a while to sign off. Their last 73 might not in fact be their last, and there may be comments afterwards before the contact has properly finished. On the other hand, if you allow too much time after a contact is finished, then everyone will have turned off and no one will hear you. So it's a fine balancing act. These techniques are described in a lot more detail in my ebook called Minimum QRP. You can get it on Amazon and it costs $5 US and an equivalent amount in foreign currencies. Let's say there's no one on the band calling CQ, there's no contacts about to finish, and you still want to contact. The next approach is to call CQ. Do it slowly, have quite long CQ calls, and announce your call sign several times. Although, you might want to tailor that to the amount of activity on the band. On a busier band, you might want to make your CQ calls a bit shorter. Keep calling CQ, be persistent, and maybe do it five or ten times before giving up because you are expecting other stations to tune across and hear your possibly weak signal. They might not even hear your call sign right the first time, so it's good to have a bit of repetition when you're calling CQ. If all that doesn't work and you still want to break into a contact, note the rules I mentioned before. Avoid contacts that are in-depth and with long overs, as you may not necessarily contribute anything to it. On the other hand, if it's just a casual chin wag, then they'd most likely welcome your presence, and you can break in, remembering, as I said before, just by inserting the call sign. 
Another thing that's good manners is before you break in, make sure that you can hear the other stations in the group. If not, that can make contacts very difficult. Also, think about mobile stations. If they're driving a car, it's hard for them to cope with contacts with more than two or three people because they can't just reach for a pen and write down your name and call sign. The same also goes if you're pedestrian mobile and I can speak from practical experience here. If you do hear that a station has just broken in, then resist the temptation to immediately break in after them. Give some airtime first. If you do break in, your presence will be particularly appreciated if there's something unusual about your style of operating. For instance, if you're aeronautical or even pedestrian mobile, then stations would probably welcome you. You might be a novelty contact for them and you might even have made the other stations day. This has been a quick summary on breaking into contacts. The first thing is to think why you want to do it. Are you contributing anything to the contact? And if not, have second thoughts. There's other ways to get contacts. For instance, responding to other station CQs, tail ending contacts that have just finished, or calling CQ yourself. It's better for band activity to have a larger number of smaller groups spread across the band than all stations congregated on the one frequency just because they broke in and didn't bother to tune around and call CQ beforehand.